to another video from Ling Ling. Today's video is going to be about the 10 things that you can do inside during the summer heat in China. So a few weeks ago my parents came to visit me in Beijing and we traveled around both Beijing and Shanghai and also a little town outside of Shanghai called Jiaxing. During that time it was super hot and you guys know we're all from Denmark so we were like oh my god how are we gonna survive this? So during those two weeks when they were there we actually tried to do a lot of different activities inside and after they left I was like hmm I should make a video about the things you can do inside when you are in China during the summer time because if you're like me and you can't handle the summer heat there are actually places to go anyways so I've collected the 10 things that you can do or 10 suggestions from Ling Ling that you can do when you're in China during the summer time you can also do it at other times in China obviously but I just thought it would be a good thing to put out there when it's really hot in China anyways <laughs> please give me a thumbs up for this video and also subscribe for more blah, 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 blah. and also subscribe for more videos from Ling Ling and please check out my patreon page I just want to say thank you to my supporters it means so 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 much so thank you very much and I also have a website lanaround.com you can check that out anyways without further ado and let's get into this little video the first thing you can do when you are in China during the summer heat is to take your friends to a restaurant and have some nice fun inside with some good air condition. Here you can see me and my friends, we went for a dim sum. My parents never tried it before, so they were really excited to try out all these new cool things. The second thing you can do is that you can look for a tea house and then you can bring your friends or as I did my parents to a Chinese traditional tea house and go for a tea ceremony, enjoy some delicious tea and have some fun with friends and family. <laughs> a calligraphy class. I actually brought my parents to one and it was so much fun. We had our uncle Dung to write some Chinese characters and then my mom she had the chance to try to write as well and both my parents got Chinese names and my dad he also learned how to write his even though I think if you ask him today I don't think he remembers anymore but it was such a fun interesting activity to do inside with air condition oh yeah Thing number four you can do inside is you can find a traditional Chinese boat and get your lunch or dinner on the boat with air condition. We enjoyed this in Jiaxing, a little city just outside of Shanghai. We went on the river, we watched the sunset while we enjoyed traditional Chinese food with friends. That was such a cool experience. The fifth thing you can do is to go to a spa, go for a massage. We had this private room where we watched TV, five of us, my parents, me, my friend and her boyfriend. We all got a very nice massage. Number six on the list is, of course, the good old museum. Yes, I brought my parents to a museum in Beijing and we enjoyed that inside for a few hours in air condition, of course. Number seven is going outside during evening time. <laughs> so you know stay inside during daytime and then go out in the evening to see here you can see handicrafts in Beijing and also you can enjoy the beautiful view of the Hohai Lake oh yes <laughs> Number eight on the list is 
to go to the mountains. The city is really hot during summertime, but immediately when you go a little bit outside of town, it gets cooler and it's much more comfortable and really beautiful as well. Number nine, find some water somewhere. I've heard that there are pools in Beijing, but if you can't find them, go to Sandy Tune like these kids and just join in and run around, go a little crazy with the water. <laughs> And last but not least, bring your friends or family to the karaoke. Karaoke or KTV is inside, so you can enjoy a nice air condition and you can sing with your friends and family all day, all night long, as long as you want to. Oh yes, me and my friends, we did have a lot of fun inside the karaoke room. <laughs> That was all for today's video. I hope that you got some good ideas to what you can do inside during the summer heat in China or maybe where else you are. Uh, these were all clips from the trip around China with my parents around Beijing, Shanghai and Jiaxing. So you can also see what we were up to during those two weeks that was instead of making a vlog. Anyways, thank you for watching. Have a nice day, evening, wherever you are in the world, and I'll see you again very, very soon. Ling Ling San, see ya, and 再见!